what a wonderful introduction. Welcome to the California Comeback. What you are all feeling tonight is what it's like to hit a walk-off home run. Kind of like San Diego in 84. <laughs> because the networks have called it. We're going on to the general election to face off against Adam Schiff. Keep in mind, this is the first game of a doubleheader. So keep the evening of November 5th open as we will celebrate again. I congratulate Congressman Schiff for joining me in the general election and recognize Congresswomen Porter and Lee for being in the arena and fighting for their beliefs. Before speaking about what lies ahead, I want to say thank you to some special people. First to my wife, Candace. Without her love and support and perspective, I wouldn't be standing here tonight. As much as anyone, she follows that old Dodger saying, you got to believe. I love you always and forever. The next is to our children, our single greatest currency, single greatest accomplishment. For their patience, encouragement, energy, and help. They had my six every day and in every way. I love each and every one of you. Thank you. Also, please join me in applauding all those here tonight who have answered the call to our military and our first responders. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you to all of them. And then to you voters, you've exercised the most powerful of our many freedoms, and that's to write the vote. And I've always said this, it's the single greatest currency we have. You can't trade it, you can't give it away. It's inherently yours, it's your personal choice. And I thank you for tonight and the future. Your vote was your shared belief with me that California is no longer the heartbeat of America. Sadly, it's just a murmur. That we have challenges to face up to, like closing the border, and responsibilities to live up to, like helping the homeless off the streets, and a pathway back to their dignity. And that if we do those things and more, our best days will be ahead of us, with California once again being that vibrant heartbeat of America. As we celebrate today, tonight, I want you to know that we haven't come this far to only go this far. When I stepped on the field for the Dodgers and the Padres, I didn't play for Democrats or Republicans or Independents. I played for all the fans. And tonight, I'm running for all the people. Let me ask you, if you believe that our wide open border has been a humanitarian and national security catastrophe, then join our campaign. If you're struggling to pay bills at your kitchen table and only buying $10 of gas instead of 10 gallons, then come join us. If you're embarrassed by the state and federal government's failure to address the heartbreaking and endless plight of the homeless, come join our campaign. If you're frightened by the brazen crime that runs rampant in our cities because of those who have turned their back on our police, then join our campaign. If you're tired of career politicians that worry more about their next job in Washington than your next job here in California, you join our campaign. And if you're concerned that our foreign policy shows weakness and not strength to our adversaries and allies, then please join our campaign. Uh, unlike others, and many of you, they want a job. 
well, I want this U.S. senator job. And I want to do the job for you because you deserve it, because you're great Californians. Give your hands up. You know, when career politicians say they need seniority in the Senate to solve problems, they're only thinking about themselves. And when the pundits say a candidate needs long lists of far-fetched policies to talk about, they're only thinking about special interests. But when I say I will bring common sense and compassion to Washington, I'm only thinking about you, the people. We, the people, will tell Washington what we want, and you'll use my voice. When I get to the Senate, I'll always put you people before party politics. And I'll go to D.C. to build a consensus. And you know what it's time for? It's time for political courage. And that political courage is to stand up for your life, your quality of life, for your families, for your children, for grandparents. And when I get to, back to Washington, at first day, we'll start going to all 99 senators, reaching out my hand, and asking them to work with me for the best interests of the people of these United States. And as the great Abraham Lincoln said, when someone is right, I will stand with them. And when they are wrong, I will move away from them. In closing, I say that tomorrow is the first day of the rest of this campaign. And the days after that will be challenging. But I feel as excited, as confident, All right, we're listening to Steve Garvey there, very gracious tonight, congratulating his opponents, Katie Porter, Barbara Lee, fighting for their beliefs.